Hi guys, thanks for joining me today. I'm Marilyn and my channel's Making with Marilyn. Now I do all things crafty, but on today's video, I'm gonna show you how I engrave my name on this water bottle. Now this was only the second time that I engraved on something round. I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. Then at the end of this video, I'm gonna go onto Afero's website and talk a little bit about the Afero Laser 1. It's a smaller laser and the Afero Laser 2. If you're interested in learning just a little bit more about this, stay till the end. So the first time that you engrave on something round, you have to change several settings. But since this is my second time, all I need to do is figure out my diameter, plug that into the software, and I'm ready to go. So the next thing I need to do is determine the elevation of the laser head. So I'm just going to put the water bottle right under the laser head, and then a ferro laser provided a spacer that helps you know where your laser should be. So I'm going to put that under the laser head, loosen this thumb screw, let the laser head just sit right there on that spacer. That means it's at the right height. Tighten my thumb screw up, and then I'm going to remove this spacer. Now it rebounded just a little bit. It dropped a tiny bit, but that's okay. So now I need to frame my design. And that just means that I have the laser head move around where my design would be engraved. It looks like I need to adjust where my water bottle is just a little bit. So I'll do that and I'll reframe. Now when I'm framing, the laser isn't firing anything. It's just moving around the design. And I'm gonna go ahead and keep framing this until I'm happy with the placement. I want to keep the design away from where the bottleneck tapers down on the right and where that seam is on the left. I'm going to go ahead and adjust my design just a little bit smaller so it'll fit better. And then I'll frame it one more time. I want to go down to the end of the bottle and just look at it to make sure it's straight. It needs just a slight adjustment. I think it's good now. So now I'm going to go grab my safety goggles so we can start this engrave. Now the engraving that you see here is in real time. I'm just going to show this for a few seconds, then I'll speed it up. But I did want you to see the actual speed. Now this next part is sped up a lot. The part that I sped up was actually seven minutes. So with real time showing this, the front end real time engraving, and what I'll show you in a minute, the entire time only took about 7 minutes and 15 to 20 seconds. I engrave with a really fast speed, and that keeps my water bottle pretty clean. Now, some people use a slow speed, the paint gets burned into it, and then you have to use something like a magic eraser and awesome to clean it off. Mine isn't too dirty, but I'll use some rubbing alcohol and a paper towel to clean it off. Now I think this looks pretty good, but I can see some horizontal lines in the edge. So I need to play with some of my settings, maybe my line interval setting, my DPI setting, or maybe even slow down the engrave just a little bit. But again, all in all, I'm pretty thrilled with this result. Now I want to talk just for a minute about these lasers. So the laser that I have is the Afero Laser 1. And it's on sale for $149. Now that is just the basic laser head. Let's look more at this. You have four laser heads available to you. This LU2-2, that is just the basic starter laser head. And basically, it does everything okay. <laughs> it doesn't do anything great. This LU 2-4 SF, SF stands for short focus. That's the one that I selected. What they say about this is it does better on engraving, or it does great on engraving and okay on cutting. I'm mainly using mine for engraving, mainly tumblers, because I have a Glowforge. So that's why I selected this short focus laser head. Then you have your LU 2-4 LF, that stands for long focus, and they say it does okay for engraving, does great on cutting. Now this is a brand new laser head here. It's quite a bit more expensive and it's higher powered. 
I really don't know much about that, but it is an option. So let's pretend you were going to get this LU2-4. If you're in the U.S., you want to make sure that you have U.S. selected. Then you can add it to cart. Now this Affero Laser 1, this is a small laser. You can only do things that are within a space of a little over 7 inches by 7 inches. So in that case, let me show you the other one that is very similar to it. It's the Affero Laser 2. Now the benefit of this one over the one that I have is this does up to a little over 15 inches by 15 inches. You have the same laser heads, this basic beginner one, the short focus one, which is more powerful than the beginner one and specializes in engraving. The long focus one that specializes in cutting, but you can still use it to engrave. And then their new, more powerful one. So to compare it to the one that I use, it would be this one here, and I would have to change this to US. Now these are what I would consider more basic beginner lasers. They do an okay job. They are open frame, so you need to be really careful with them. You need to be very safe with them. You always need to wear your goggles, and I still don't even look at it when I'm using it. A nice thing about this open frame is, right here, you can put anything that's stable under it, under the corners, like I just used cans of refried beans on the video. It lifts it up. That allows you to put thick things under it to engrave. Now, the last thing is, for me, this is what I really wanted, and that is extra. Now, I don't want to be a big salesperson. I'm not pushing this, but I did want to explain to you the differences just in case you were interested. If you have questions, let me know. And as always, thank you so much for watching the video, and until my next one, bye-bye.